few months ago, I took a leap of faith and came to Mexico City. I didn't know what would happen once I got here, but I knew that God was calling me here for a reason. One scripture I kept in my head during this time was Matthew 6.33, which reads, But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. I knew I didn't need to fully understand or see the path he was taking me down, but instead had to put my focus on him and trust him to reveal everything else. So two days after arriving in Mexico City, I went to a church I found on Facebook. Before coming here, I started to be more intentional about building my relationship with God because I knew, especially with the unconventional path I've decided to take, I would have been lost without his guidance. I prayed for a closer relationship with him and I prayed for community that would help and inspire me to do so. And I'm so blessed to have found more than I could have imagined. You have a huge heart and so creative, and I'm just really grateful for you and so proud of you. I love you. Yes, Jordan, you are literally such a breath of fresh air. I'm so incredibly grateful for you and so grateful for our friendship. I'm excited to continue to grow closer to you. You are literally like home. I'm so peaceful and so loving. It's really fun to be around you. And I'm so grateful for you. Thank you for everything that you do and everything that you are. <laughs> Hello Jordan, I'm so proud of you. Thank you so much for being open to the word of God and uh, you know, you uh, you are my baby. I love you so much and I want to support you in, in the end. Okay, in this life to the end. I love you. Mwah. Getting baptized wasn't something I saw as a necessary thing to do before. I didn't have a clear understanding on what the point of it was. I thought that as long as I had a relationship with God, then that should be enough. Very proud of you for hearing and actually doing mm -hmm. what it is that he's doing. Mm -hmm. yeah. But one thing I'm learning in this season is that I can't be lukewarm in my faith and tell God how I'm going to love him. It's something that's being said a lot in conversations surrounding relationships. You have to love people how they want to be loved, cater to their love language. And the same thing applies in your relationship with God. And I want to encourage you on this day and as for the rest of your life, this is like, we're making a commitment to God for the rest of our lives to remember why it is you made the decision you made. Now I'm so grateful for you for just being so open and vulnerable with us. Like we're pure strangers. We literally <laughs> met like, I don't know how long ago. I don't know where. Exactly. Yeah. But it's so the plan of God just to remember that he is guiding you in his way. Always have a humble heart to listen to what he says and what he wants for you. Okay. So I'm so grateful to be able to share this time with you and to be able to call you my sister in Christ. So In the Bible, God says that those who love him are the ones who are obedient to his word. And in his word, it says no one can be a part of his kingdom unless they are baptized. I wanted to make a public commitment in front of God and others to strive to live a life that's pleasing to him. To live by his word instead of picking and choosing which things I was going to be obedient about. And... The first step to doing that was getting baptized. Hey Jordan, it's Jaden. And even though you're not with me up till 3 a.m. on really every day, just helping me, chauffeuring me around, I'm glad you're in Mexico doing something good that can better you and your life. 
And mom always said that you should get baptized when you're ready. And I'm glad that now is your time and that you are ready now. And I'm just glad to be a part of it. It's all love. I love you very much to the moon and back, to the sun and back. And I'm just proud of you. Love you, Jordan. Adios, um, adios, adios. Hello, daughter. I am very proud of you. I am so thankful that you came to Mexico City um, and just heard from the Lord to do it. Um, I'm glad that you found your community that you prayed for. And this is the best is yet to come. I'm very happy that your way is going to be God's way because God's way is the perfect way. I love you. So I thank God for leading me to this point. <laughs> Yo. Oh, that's so cute! <laughs> I thank my family for being so supportive. And I thank these beautiful sisters of mine for guiding me on this journey. We love you, Jordan. Can we get a, can we get a, we love you, Jordan on three. One, two, three. <laughs> we This is the post. I'm baptized. Uh, baptized post. -post it's done. She's do. I look different. <laughs> There's so much beauty on the other side of obedience. And as I continue my journey, this will always serve as a reminder to move before understanding and trust him to map out the rest. I put myself in the air I'm yours, just take me anywhere I'm casting all my cares So you can take me anywhere, anywhere Just let the wind blow, blow Spirit come and take control